Did we lose? Oh, we just lost. Rip. <laughs> Do we? Yeah. I don't know how. But, Here it uh, comes. 30 seconds left. We definitely just lost. Hey guys, what's going on? Rounded Tic Tac here again, bringing you, like I said, the new video about the cannonade. I've extensively tested this thing, tried to think of every little niche thing you could run with this weapon, and I think I got a pretty good handle on it. But I want to be honest with you guys for just a second. I kind of really dislike when our only content that we get and then we have to wait an entire week for more is a rocket launcher. There's only three or four perks in the entire game that can affect rocket launchers in any shape or form and I mean that's really it. They all do the same exact thing. They're high damage, long reload weapons that you know have an AoE and that's it. Rocket launchers are simple. And they are completely out of meta. There's no reason to use a rocket launcher ever. I think, like I said before in one of my videos, I think I used a rocket maybe twice in 128 for Frost Knight on the hardest wave possible. I think I used it two times. And it did more harm than good, which is an issue. But we're going to go over the Cannonade, the brand new rocket launcher that was just released. I'm going to let you know if it's good, if you should buy it. Well, that's actually not a question. You should always buy everything that comes in the store. You never know what they're going to buff or nerf and might change along the way. But I'm going to show you how to roll it, some gameplay, some footage, my thoughts and opinions about the weapon, and exactly how good is it. Was it worth the wait? We'll see. This is the Cannonade. One thing I have to give it to the cannonade is at least it's unique. It does n something that at least no other rocket launcher that I can think of does, similar to the Noble Launcher. Whether your opinions about the Noble Launcher is good or bad, it's at least unique. It's something different. And the cannonade is the same. It does something completely different than any other rocket launcher. It looks very cool, it sounds very cool, and like I said, it does something different, which is good. Which is, There's always room for innovation and new things, it just depends if those new things are actually worth playing. So it's unique, that's great. There's always room for improvement and innovation, and when we get stuff like this, it's definitely a step in the right direction. But is it unique enough? Is it niche enough to have its own spot in your build? Or is this going to be another one of those weapons that you level up, play with it for a week, and just never touch it again? Sadly, I think it's going to fall into that category. It does have one thing going for it, and that it does have 14 to 18 rockets in a clip or a magazine. It definitely has that going for it and it does a decent amount of damage but this wouldn't be a tic tac video if we didn't bring in some math to it and some comparisons and if you're going to compare rocket launchers you're going to have to talk about the best in the business and in my opinion granted it is my opinion i think the santa's little helper is the best rocket launcher in the game still this comes kind of close but in a different way since it has so many rounds in the magazine, you have a larger margin of error to mess up. If you miss a rocket, you're not automatically reloading. The issue then becomes, is one rocket enough to kill something? And usually we found that it's not. So let's break this weapon down, tell you why, and exactly how you should roll it, and what characters you should play it on. Now, unless I missed something, but I don't think I did, there's only one way you're really going to roll this. The first one is going to be crit rating. As you guys know, and I say in all my videos, crit rating, crit damage is the way to go on 95% of the weapons in the game. The second one, you're going to take that reload speed off, and you're going to stick magazine size in there. We're going to rely on, in a pinch, the uh, team perk to give us bonus reload speed. That The third one, you can make physical or energy. I always go energy. The next, the fourth one is going to be crit damage. And then that last one, you can do two things, but I highly recommend a certain one. You can do durability if you want to take that stability and get rid of it. Damage or impact is what we're looking for here with a very large emphasis on the damage. So your final rolls are going to look like this. 
crit rating in the first slot, magazine size in the second, energy or physical, your choice there, crit damage in the fourth, and then the damage slash impact with a high emphasis on the damage. The reason for this is it only has about 4,000 impact per shell. If you round that up at 4,000 times 14 for the entire clip, we're looking at 56,000 impact in a total clip that takes around three to four seconds to shoot. When you can compare that to the Santa's Little Helper and you get around 40K in less than one second. So you could go impact here, but I wouldn't recommend it. So before we get into the hero build section, let's talk a little bit more about the damage. Now, the cannonade does have a large magazine size and a pretty fast fire rate, which can add up to some serious damage. But if we take but if we take out crit chance and crit damage and just use the base damage numbers on each weapon and by each weapon I mean the cannonade and the Santa's little helper, let's see which one actually does more DPS. In this build that I was playing in this game, I had 14 cannons in the magazine using the cannonade. Comparing that to a single shot rocket launcher like the Santa's Little Helper, I was able to shoot the entire magazine of the cannonade in four, in the time that it took to shoot four rounds of the Santa's Little Helper. So in layman's terms, I was able to shoot four rockets from the Santa's Little Helper in the time it took to shoot the entire magazine of the cannonade. Now the question is, which one does more damage? And the results might surprise you they were both fully perked up now there is a magazine size on the cannonade but and there is a reload perk on the santa's little helper but since both are fully perked up i feel like it's a fair fight anyway the end result was the santa's little helper in its four shots which took as long as the cannonade was 1.54 million and the cannonade even though this is where it should shine only did 1.26 million damage now remember those are four shots from the santa's little helper and the 14 from the cannonade so it's interesting the main thing about the cannonade is that it's spam happy but that also hurts the gun because you cannot do a spam happy build now if you watch my video that i posted earlier today in preparation for this i said multiple times that based on what i did see from this gun I wasn't sure if that build was going to work and I was 100% correct that build does not work with this gun. I mean it does work, you go up from 30 shots to 76 shots, but it shoots so fast that even using an Outlander with a 3 second cooldown, you would only be able to shoot 2 and that those 2 only do 180k and etc etc. You cannot keep up the spam so it's almost useless to use Enduring Machine. Yeah it can help but you definitely don't need it. We're going to get into what character I do suggest in just a second. The last thing I want to touch on is that I did try it with the Blakebeard character because he does increase cannonball damage and it looks like it has cannonball damage, but it does not work. So don't try it unless you want to feel free, but it doesn't give you any base damage. Before we get to the hero section, there's one more thing that I want to talk to you about, and that is the sixth perk on the cannonade. It is shrapnel, the new perk that we got with the pirate weapons and llamas, and that for all intents and purposes seems kind of broken, especially on a rocket launcher. There's just no reason for it. It's a rocket launcher. It has a quarter tile explosion radius. Do you really need something that's going to hit behind the enemy too? I mean, affliction or snare, in my opinion, would have been a lot better. And on top of that, not even sure if the perk is working. And on top of that, it's also on an internal 1.5 second cooldown, so it causes a couple of issues. There could be better 6th perks. There could be more damage orientated, more support orientated like snare, and it's just kind of useless. So let's get on to that hero section and wrap this video up. So if it's not Flash AC and it's not 8-bit demo, then what character are we going to use to use the cannonade to the best of its ability? And that falls onto Demolitionist Penny. Demolitionist Penny, of course, increases rocket launcher damage by 50%, and that really adds up quite quickly, especially on a rapid fire gun like the Cannonade. Preemptive Strike, of course, we're trying to do as much damage as possible per 
cannonball. However, it only works with the first one because then they start to take damage. Now, the core of this build is going to be these four perks here, but Enduring Machine and Survivalist is kind of up in the air. Locked and Reloaded, you can get the entire magazine in five seconds. So if you're holding down the button and just spamming, you will have an extra 15% extra damage. Waste Not Want to increase magazine size by 30%. This is what I was talking about earlier, magazine size of 14 to 18%. This is what would get you that 18. In a pinch, reloads, you guys know it, I always say it, it's one of the best perks in the game, allowing you for faster reload and allowing you to put magazine size instead of reload speed on the weapon itself. Now, survivalist, you can use if you want to. I like it being in the fray, jumping around, as you guys see in the video, that just me just staying alive because of survivalist, all the lasers and blasters and things like that. Survivalist definitely helps out. We don't need uh, fuel for the fallen because we do aren't using our abilities really at all. So fuel for the fallen, which we put in a lot of builds, you do not have to put here. Um, and then enduring machine, the issue with this, and I stated it in my previous video, is that she has too long of a cooldown. If we take a quick gander at her stuff, it is a 30 second cooldown, a 45 second cooldown, and a 15 second cooldown. So you'll be able to shoot two of the 14 to 18 cannonballs out of the rocket launcher before you lose that buff. So is this necessary? No. Does it help? Yes. Can you replace it with something else? Sure. Absolutely. Place, replace it with whatever you want. Anything you want at all. It doesn't matter. If you want to play a little more niche, if you want to maybe increase your decoy, it does not matter. But these, I would say, are absolutely core. So that's it, guys. That's the cannonade. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. But to wrap it up, let's just say you know how to roll it. Crit chance, crit damage, base damage, energy, and mag size. And we're going to be relying on reload speed from in a pinch through our team perks. We know that it doesn't increase damage from Blakebeard. The extra cannonball damage does not work on this weapon, but it does on a couple others. We know that the six perk, even if it is working, is completely useless because it's a rocket launcher and you're going to hit things behind it anyway. We also know that the Santa's Little Helper, based on how many rockets you can get out at one time, still out DPSs this thing, but only slightly. The main advantage to this rocket launcher is it does have a larger margin for error and if you miss a rocket, doesn't automatically throw you into a reload animation. Now, it is very good on encampment missions, but I wouldn't use it on much more than that. And that's my full review of the cannonade, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Am I going to use this weapon? Probably not if I'm being honest, but we are going to give a ton of them away at twitch.tv slash rounded tic tac shameless plug. I hope to see you there guys. We're pushing for partner. If you want to come help and support, that would be great. I'll see you guys then until the next one. Tic tac out.